Good day friends, today we are diving into a super important and fun topic in mathematics, set notations and Venn diagrams. These tools that help us organize and visualize groups of things like numbers, objects and even ideas. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe sets, perform operations like union and intersection and draw Venn diagram like a pro. Ready? Let's get started. Now look at on the screen, first let's talk about sets. A set is just a collection of items called element. Think of it like a bag of your favorite things. For example, imagine a set of your favorite fruits. For example, I have A, the set called A contains three elements, apple, banana and orange. We write sets using curly braces and list the element inside. Is apple is in the set A? Yes, apple is in set A and in mathematics we can write it as apple belongs to A. But if someone is asking mango is in the list or in a set, how can we reply? I would say no. Now, I would say mango does not belong to A. Got it? Okay, now section 2, key set notations. Now let's learn some key operation we can do with sets. Look at on a screen. Draw two sets. A, 1, 2, 3. B, 2, 3, 4. Imagine set A has the numbers 1, 2, 3 or elements and set B has 2, 3, 4. Here are four important operations A, A union B. This means combine all elements from A and B but don't repeat anything. So, union A union B is 1, 2, 3, 4. Very good. 2 and 3 which are in both sets are only written once. Number 2 is intersection A intersection B. This is the overlap. Elements that are in both A and B, here it is right 2 and 3. Because 2 and 3 are common to both. Now number 3 is difference A minus B. This means elements in A that are not in B, so A minus B is right as 1 because 1 is in A but not in B. Number 4, complement, A dash or A complement. This is everything not in A but we need a universal set first, right? Write U, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the universal set. U has all possible elements we are considering. So, A's complement is right 4, 5 because those are in U but not in A. These operations are like the building blocks of sets. Let's see how we can visualize them. Got it? Section 3, Venn Diagrams. Now, this is where Venn diagrams comes in. Look at on the screen. Already I have drawn two circles that overlapping circles in a rectangle labeled a Venn diagram using circles to represent sets. Inside a rectangle that represents the universal set U. The circle is set A with elements 1, 2, 3. And the second with set B with 2, 3, 4. Look at the screen. The overlap is where A and B share elements 2 and 3. The number 5 is outside both the circles but inside U because it's the in the universal set 
but not in A and B. Let's try some operations using the diagram. For A union B, shade both the circles. V shades all of A and B, that is 1, 2, 3, 4. For A intersection B, only shade overlap circle. For A complement, shade outside A. V shade everything outside A, which is 4 and 5. Cool? Venn diagrams make it so easy to see what's going on. Right? Why this matter? So, why do we care about sets and Venn diagrams? They are super useful in maths, especially in probability and statistics. For example, if you are finding the chance that someone likes apples or bananas, that's a union. If it's the apple and bananas, that's an intersection. You will see these in O-level exams, especially in questions about grouping data and solving logic problems. Don't ignore, okay? It's important. Let's recap. Look at on the screen. A set is a collection of elements written with curly braces. We use symbols like U for union and ULTA U for intersection and A dash A complement for complement. Venn diagrams help us see these operations with circles and shading. You are now ready to tackle set questions in your O level exams. For homework, try this. I am writing here U1234 5, A123, sorry, 135, B234. Find A union B, A intersection B, and draw a Venn diagram to show it on the screen, on the copies. Any question? Ask me. Excellent work learners, you have just mastered set notations and Venn diagrams. Tools that make data and logic crystal clear. Keep practicing drawing Venn diagrams and solving word problems and soon you will find these questions super easy. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Numberland. Please like if you like the video. We are learning is logical and visual. Keep learning, keep rising. Thank you for joining me.